Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. I'm going to show you a quick lesson on how to do masks in flash. I've got a little example already set up with a dude I made walking into a cave. Let me just play that for you. So if you've seen my previous lessons, you can see what I've made is a looping symbol, it's a looping graphic symbol. I'm just tweening it from left to right. And in order to make him look like he's walking into a cave, I've created a mask. So let me break that down for you and show you how it works. On our bottom layer here, we've got a cave that I've just drawn. Um, if I hide that. On the next layer, we've got my walkie man symbol. So if I double click on that, you can see that it's just two keyframes lasting five frames each. Just two little drawings of him wobbling his arms and legs so it looks a bit like he walks. So that's just the same as the looping face symbol uh, we did in a previous lesson, that one. So if I click on scene, we'll go back to the scene and I can hide that layer and above that what we've got, if I unlock it, is a kind of green fill, it's a green mass and what that green mass does is it tells Flash where I want it to show the man and where I don't want it to show the man. So you can see this white space, you can see that's the stage, that doesn't have any green in it. So what that says to Flash is don't show the man in this area where it's not green, uh, but do show the man in this area where it is green. So. To make that clear, I think what I'll do is I'll go to the symbol we made earlier of the face and I'll reconstruct the whole thing. So I think it's a bit bigger at the end, so I might just squidge it down with free transform tool, which is over here. So we've got symbol just tweening from left to right. If you don't understand any of this, check out my earlier lessons. It's all explained. I've coloured it in a bit. So you can see it's blue instead of transparent. Uh, and what I need to do is I need to draw a cave. So I'll lock this layer by clicking here. I'll create a new layer by clicking here. And I'll draw a cave. I'm going to use my Wacom tablet, but you can just use a mouse. Uh, I'm going to click on my brush tool here. I'm going to choose uh, start off with black. So there we go. Draw in a cave. A bit of an entrance there. I'm going to fill that in using the paint bucket tool, not the ink bottle, the paint bucket. And I'm going to choose a grey. And for the interior, I'm going to choose dark grey. Okay, so that's a, that's a pretty simple cave. I'm sure even if you've only got rudimentary drawing skills, you can probably manage that. You can see that our face just disappears behind the cave, which is what we want. So we need to drag our cave layer underneath our content layer. So now if we play it through, you can see that our face is above the cave. So to make it look like it's actually disappearing into the cave, we need to create a mask layer. So let's do that now. If I click our new layer here, we get a new layer called layer 3. I'm going to drag that to the top. I'm going to double click on it and rename it mask. So in that layer, we need to draw the tone that I was talking about before, which tells Flash where to show our symbol and where not to show it. So I'm going to select a super bright colour, like green. I'm going to draw 
over the edge of the mouth of the cave and all around here like that with the paintbrush tool and then I'm going to fill that in with the paint bucket so there you go, you see we've got a big green mask there ok, to turn that big green mask into a mask um, we need to double click on it if you double click on the name it will just let you rename it but if you double click on this little picture here it will open up the layer properties and you can select mask pretty simple so now it will go kind of green uh, but at the moment it still won't act as a mask because we need to nest our content in that layer so if you click on that layer just like with the motion guide just pull it up onto the mask you can see it's a little circle and a line and it'll make our content layer go green as well now it still won't look right because we need to lock both these layers to make it work and you can see our mask disappears but now if we play it through you can see our face will disappear into the cave obviously you can see here it's not entirely accurate but that's something that you can alter by unlocking your mask layer if you click on this symbol here it will make it go into outline mode and you can just refine that by using the lasso tool and shaving bits off so I want to cut that bit out but you could use the eraser now if we lock it again a look. Yeah, that's looking a bit better, but obviously you can tinker with that yourself and make it look how you want. Okay, that's how to do masks. I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book, the Hexjibber Coloring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.